The Golden Key by Emmett Fox, read for you by Heather Macaulay Noel. Forward. I have compressed this booklet into six pages. Had it been possible, I would have reduced it to six lines. It is not intended to be an instructional treatise, but a practical recipe for getting out of trouble. Study and research are well in their own time and place, but no amount of either will get you out of concrete difficulty. Nothing but practical work in your own consciousness will do that. The mistake made by many people when things go wrong is to skim through book after book without getting anywhere. Read the golden key several times. Do exactly what it says, and if you are persistent enough, you will overcome any difficulty. Emmett Fox The Golden Key Scientific prayer will enable you, sooner or later, to get yourself or anyone else out of any difficulty on the face of the earth. It is the golden key to harmony and happiness. To those who have no acquaintance with the mightiest power in existence, this may appear to be a rash claim, but it needs only a fair trial to prove that, without a shadow of doubt, it is a just one. You need take no one's word for it, and you should not. Simply try it for yourself and see. God is omnipotent, and man is his image and likeness, and has dominion over all things. This is the inspired teaching, and it is intended to be taken literally, at its face value. Man means every man. And so the ability to draw on this power is not the special prerogative of the mystic or the saint, as is so often supposed, or even of the highly trained practitioner. Whoever you are, wherever you may be, the golden key to harmony is in your hand now. This is because in scientific prayer it is God who works, and not you. And so your particular limitations or weaknesses are of no account in the process. You are only the channel through which the divine action takes place, and your treatment will really be just the getting of yourself out of the way. Beginners often get startling results at the first time of trying, for all that is absolutely essential is to have an open mind and sufficient faith to try the experiment. Apart from that, you may hold any views on religion or none. As for the actual method of working, like all fundamental things, it is simplicity itself. All that you have to do is this. Stop thinking about the difficulty, whatever it is, and think about God instead. This is the complete rule, and if only you will do this, the trouble, whatever it is, will presently disappear. It makes no difference what kind of trouble it is. It may be a big thing or a little thing. It may concern health, finance, a lawsuit, a quarrel, an accident, or anything else conceivable. But whatever it is, just stop thinking about it and think of God instead. That is all you have to do. The thing could not be simpler, could it? God himself could scarcely have made it simpler, and yet it never fails to work when given a fair trial. Do not try to form a picture of God, which is, of course, impossible. Work by rehearsing anything and everything that you know about God. God is wisdom, truth, inconceivable love. God is present everywhere, has infinite power, knows everything, and so on. It matters not how well you may think you understand these things, go over them repeatedly. But you must stop thinking about the trouble, whatever it is. The rule is to think about God, and if you are thinking about your difficulty, you are not thinking about God. To be continually glancing over your shoulder, as it were, in order to see how matters are progressing, is fatal, because that is thinking of the trouble and you must think of God and nothing else. Your object is to drive the thought of the difficulty right out of your consciousness, for a few moments at least, substituting for it the thought of God. This is the crux of the whole thing. 
If you can become so absorbed in this consideration of the spiritual world that you really forget for a while all about the trouble concerning which you began to pray, you will presently find that you are safely and comfortably out of your difficulty, that your demonstration is made. In order to golden key a troublesome person or a difficult situation, think, now I am going to golden key John or Mary or that threatened danger. Then proceed to drive all thought of John or Mary or the danger right out of your mind, replacing it by the thought of God. By working in this way about a person, you are not seeking to influence his conduct in any way, except that you prevent him from injuring or annoying you, and you do him nothing but good. Therefore he is certain to be in some degree a better, wiser, and more spiritual person, just because you have golden keyed him. A pending lawsuit or other difficulty would probably fade out harmlessly without coming to a crisis justice being done to all parties concerned. If you find that you can do this very quickly, you may repeat the operation several times a day with intervals between. Be sure, however, each time you have done it, that you drop all thought of the matter until the next time. This is important. We have said that the golden key is simple, and so it is. But, of course, it is not always easy to turn. If you are very frightened or worried, it may be difficult, at first, to get your thoughts away from material things. But by constantly repeating some statement of absolute truth that appeals to you, such as, There is no power but God, or I am the child of God, filled and surrounded by the perfect peace of God, or God is love, or God is guiding me now, or perhaps best and simplest of all, just God is with me. However mechanical or dead it may seem at first, you will soon find that the treatment has begun to take, and that your mind is clearing. Do not struggle violently. Be quiet but insistent. Each time that you find your attention wandering, just switch it straight back to God. Do not try to think out in advance what the solution to your difficulty will probably turn out to be. This is technically called outlining, and will only delay the demonstration. Leave the question of ways and means strictly to God. You want to get out of your difficulty, that is sufficient. You do your half, and God will never fail to do God's.